Hey guys, this is the RMXP fan project. The name of the game is Stygian Souls. And I'm going to show you what I've accomplished this week. This is update number five. Um, I haven't had as much time this week to work on the game as I would have liked. I've been working 12 hours um, a day for the last uh, five days, so I tried to get as much done as I could, but I didn't have as much time, and I wouldn't have liked, so um, I'll show you what I did get accomplished, and um, later on I will uh, tell you what I hope to have accomplished for next week. So this guy right here. Um, that I'm circling. I changed the sprite. Sorry we're in the same room, but I didn't put a lot of time into uh, making, a, making a new room for us to do the testing in. Um, Any time I had this week was spent uh, just getting some core stuff done in the game. So that guy just filled my inventory with all the items. I made a uh, script that would give me all the items I had programmed into the game. Um, if you look closely, you can see that it has some of the icons in there from the source material. And I tried to uh, give all the uh, items, weapons, and armor an appropriate icon, even if they are just a generic icon. There are still other icons I'm trying to acquire, uh, even just generic ones, you know, like, uh, say, for leggings or gauntlets or uh, uh, what else was there? Maybe arrows or, you know, things like that. So. Uh, but anyways, I did set this to give me one of every item I have programmed into the database and to give me, or not one of every item, 99 of every item, but um, a set of 99 of every item in the database. And uh, what I'm going to show you here is that this enemy is programmed only to try and poison me. And uh, as he poisons me as he did just there, you'll notice that there's an animation plane on the character and that he has taken slip damage. His damage, his health has gone down slowly, uh, like it would if he was poisoned. And um, I'm gonna go into the other room, and he has still taken slip damage. And if I were to go into the uh, menu, it would actually say poison uh, above his name and status. And I'll show that to you uh, a little bit later in the video, so you can get a good look at it. But what I'm gonna do is equip the uh, uh, purple moss bump and show you that when you do take that, it cures. Let's set it uh, to the hot key. If you look up top, I am going to select uh, position number one. I will scroll down this list and find the uh, purple moss bump and set it to position one. Then I hit uh, key number one and you'll see it pop up in the top left corner. And if I hit the item key and use it, you'll notice that he stopped taking slip damage and the animation for poison is gone. I'm going to rest at the bonfire now to replenish my health and we'll go back to show you um, that if I equip the poison bite ring, it will prevent the enemy from being able to uh, poison my character. And uh, I know in some areas the environment will actually be poisonous to you, but uh, this is just showing how the enemy will be unable to poison you. And I might handle it a little bit differently, but right now um, when he tries to cast a spell, he'll be unable to target me uh, to inflict poison upon me, which, there you go. He tried casting, and uh, he was unable to poison me. And, just to show you that it does work, I will de I will unequip the uh, poison bite ring and show you that you can poison me. And so there we go. Go up here, he casts a spell on poison, and I'm taking slip damage. And there's an animation for poison playing about my character. Um, So that's one thing. Um, now, there's toxic. Uh, there's an out thing with the game. 
um, without uh, adding an additional script. I haven't figured out a way to do it, but uh, you cannot apply multiple states to a character. So originally I was going to, uh, and you can't set separate uh, slips, slip damage to the character uh, without messing around with the script, from what I found. So I found a way around it without uh, messing with the script at all to apply toxic, where uh, the amount of damage it takes will be significant, significantly increased. And I'm going to show that to you now. I changed the uh, skill that was applying poison before by the enemy to apply toxic, and you'll see that the uh, health will drop quite a bit faster because I had the parallel process uh, event running on the page that checks for the toxic toxic uh, uh, state. So when I get it started here, you'll you'll see that um, that will work. And so here the game is loading up. That character down there is just to give me the items, nothing more. And you see who cast a spell, and look how quickly my health is dropping. Almost dead already. <clears throat> On this screen, I do not have the parallel process running, so he will continue to take slip damage. But his health will not drop so fast because that event is not on this map. That's one of the big things I'm doing is trying to establish what events uh, will uh, be part of a complete map. And uh, once I know all the functions uh, that need to be applied to every single map, you know, all the checks for equipment, uh, what states the character is under. Uh, that's probably almost uh, 70 to 80% of the game. That's kind of like your, um, you know, uh, in game design, they, they talk about like the vertical slice. That's going to be like uh, a big part of it, knowing exactly how a map needs to be designed, what needs to be there, what needs to be checked to uh, get the feel of the source material. So right there, you apply toxic to me, and I use my uh, blooming purple moss pump and it uh, cured the toxic uh, status. So I'm going to try and recast it again and uh, you know you can use that item to cure it. And right here I'll show you that it does in fact say toxic for his status. And if you're poisoned it'll say poison. If you're bleeding it'll say bleeding. So. If your health is dropping and you don't know the animation, you can still bring up your uh, character screen and see. So it does pause. I know that's <laughs> I know that's taboo for this game series, but and Stygian Souls, you can see that. And so right here, I want to show you another thing I was working on was the fire bombs. And so I will show you that and blow off some fire bombs at the enemy. And then that will be it for this video until next week when I have hopefully a lot more time to work on the game. Um, and so I equipped a fire bomb to the slot right up there in the top left corner. And I will. The bombs have an area of effect, which you notice that it affected both enemies. Uh, when the bomb misses, there's no animation. Uh, just have to deal with that. I know it kind of sucked, but hey, I still think it's pretty cool. <laughs> I may get a different uh, bomb sprite that was just uh, like another generic one I found. And that I'm using for now, so I may end up changing it. I don't know. I have a lot on my plate you know, to get accomplished. So right here, I was going to hook up the bow again and show you the, the short bow and all that. But I'm going to clip this video short now. Um, that's it. I may have another person helping out with uh, creating sprites, and uh, hopefully he comes through on that. But uh, 
Anyways, thanks for watching. Thanks for the support. And I have another update for you guys next week. Goodbye.